Brasidas, you're here. You got my message. I heard about Pilos. Are you all right? I've been through worse. We have bigger problems right now. After Pilos, what happened? The remaining Spartans found me and gave me time to recover. So I did. But your leg? You disappeared from battle. I was captured. Taken to Athens for an interrogation with Demos and Cleon. They didn't kill you? They tried. So Cleon's in Amphipolis? Somewhere. And in armor, I hear. He'll fight for his life today. He wants to be the hero. Athenians can't think much of him after what he did. This is our chance, Brasidas. We kill Cleon today. If you don't, then I will. There's something you're not telling me. <sighs> I am here for Cleon. Let's keep it at that. I thought we were friends. You're not who I thought you were. You were raised Spartan. You should know how to be loyal. I came here, didn't I? We're fighting the same fight. You haven't proven that. Let me prove it now. We're wasting time. Athens is gathering reinforcements. I we need to attack now. Let's go. Malaka. Today, we give everything we have. No giving up. Yeah. A bad day for Athens! A glorious day for Sparta!
take everything so personally. <laughs> Shit. Fucking coward! He can't get away. Alexios. Unfortunately for you, it is. It's not too late, you know. You can still join us. We're not in Athens. You can't talk your way out of this. Why don't you just leave me alone? This is all your fault. Alexios, come now. Show mercy. You turned her against us. My own sister. We lifted Themos up. We made her great, unstoppable. You made her a monster. Then fight by her side. Teach her you would have Themos once again. Her name is Cassandra. I beg you, this world is severed, Alexios, and we'll unite it. Shut the fuck up! My hands are empty. Have pity. You will die, just as you lived, uh, as a coward. I'm not through. I won't be forgotten for all I've done. You're not worth the memory. That's it then. Irini will want to know Cleon is dead. And Brasidas. I should have gotten to Demo sooner. I'm sorry, my friend. My lamb, you've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. Demos killed him in battle. And what of my daughter? Cleon fired an arrow into Demos's back. The wound didn't look fatal. She could still be alive. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mater, there's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taeyetos, where it all began. My whole life's been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. This is where everything changed. It's like I never left. Cassandra! On the edge of the world, a mother calls out to her child. Touching. Cassandra! Please! You use that name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult! 
I tried to save you. I did everything. The priest told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your daughter. Cassandra, come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family. Home. <laughs> My sword is my family. The battlefield is my home. I promised to bring her back, Mater. But the cult has poisoned her mind. Promised to bring me back to Mater, did you? <laughs> you didn't bring me here. Why don't you tell our Mater the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with a destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a broken spear. The cult controls your destiny, but you don't need them. Together, we can destroy them and bring peace back to this world. Peace? And what under Ilios would you do with yourself if there was peace? Milk the goats? <laughs> Look at you! Oh, mighty Mistios! You profit from this war as much as I do. You don't want peace. You just don't want to deal with me. What I want, what I've always wanted, is my family. When I was little, I found a lion cub trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in a world of beasts, a family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead, and my destiny is clear. I won't let you get in my way. Cassandra, listen to me. You're my sister. I tried to protect you once, and I failed. I won't fail again. We all have Cassandra. I... I know. Lexius, wait. Sorry. 
Thank you. Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. There's more to being the best than pure strength. That's an excuse for the weak. I'll show you who's weak. Well, at least the family is all together. I'll get more wine. wasn't so bad, was it? I can't believe I have a family again. The gods work in mysterious ways. You never know what they have planned. Someone's kept their eye on me. You're special! Look at the life they've blessed you with! Not so bad, if you think of it all. That's optimistic, considering. Just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you. Behold, I've kept myself alive. It was the one job I gave you, Socrates. I knew you could handle it. I would have attempted it even if you hadn't told me to. It's not as easy as it seems, staying alive. There's not many of us left. Then let's pay tribute to them. Though they aren't here now, they were here once. Come with me. My opinion on death is a nebulous one, because I know nothing about it. Therefore, I know I shouldn't be afraid. I'm not afraid either. Many are, because they don't know what death holds for them. One can only trust that the gods know for certain. Think wisely, although no one can truly know anything. <sighs> Phoebe. She never got to be a little girl. I talked to her like she was already grown up. Which you did out of respect for her. Question your choices, Alexios, but never doubt them. Thank you for giving her the burial she deserved. There are countless others here in Elysium. The blessed have earned that eternal happiness. One of them is our great Pericles. Athens owes him a debt for all he's done. They didn't call him the first citizen of Athens for nothing. A man of many contributions, but also a private man. If only he had shared this burden. We only knew him as he presented himself to be, but who's to say that wasn't his true self? This war has taken so many. Even Vrasidas fell. Maybe so, but as a Spartan, he fulfilled his duty and died on the battlefield. I could have helped him more. He was on my side. Your survival avenges him. He will be honored as a hero. The people will remember how we brought down Cleon. Apparently, soldiers found Cleon on the beach. A casualty of war, perhaps? Couldn't say. It's hard to recall what happens in the heat of battle. Either way, let him spend his eternity in Tartarus for what he has done. And be certain, our friends wait for us in the light. I drink to that. Who 
am I to say no? <laughs> well, this has supplied me with plenty of new material for my next play. Remember how Alexios took the monger to task for all of Corinth to see. That would suit a drama. There's been no love scene yet. Let me provide that inspiration now. Beauty is short-lived. You may as well use it, Alcibiades. And to that, I raise my drink. To moving forward, we'll leave the past behind. A tribute as good as your singing. And to the gods. Now, dear teacher, I think you should whisk me away for our private lesson. I'm afraid I haven't had enough wine for that, Alcabiadis. Then someone fill his cup. <laughs> <laughs>